Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of the Northland News. I'm Brandon McKenzie. Deep in the heart of the McAfee Library sits the Campanella Gallery, and from now until November 16th, photography by Bill Eckers will be available for viewing. Eckers' most recent work focuses on the conceptual and perceptual boundaries between painting and photography. He demonstrates his passion for automobiles by extenuating the unique details of each vehicle. Last week, the Park University players performed their recent production, The Art of Murder, at the McCoy Meeting House. Here's Stuart Brewer with more on this story. Around this time, the theater department puts on a play in Alumni Hall. Due to a fire in Alumni Hall, the play was relocated to the McCoy Meeting House. People came out to fill the seats and enjoy the thrills in the latest play, The Art of Murder. Well, it wasn't always the easiest thing to do, but we had been rehearsing for quite some time, and I felt that the actors were really ready. And we had no guarantee as to when or if when would be to get back into the theaters. The cast and crew managed to get the rest of the set done over fall break, as they managed to get everything ready as scheduled. Break week, uh, everybody came down to my garage. My husband has lots of tools, lots of saws, and he sawed boards for them, and they put together the screens, they put together the isolation tank, they, they painted things, they tacked everything together, and we just built it to fit in the meeting house, and we'd had a couple of rehearsals in there, so the actors had already, you know, figured out a way to maneuver on that very, very small platform stage. It just goes to show that no matter the circumstance, the show must go on. I'm Stuart Brewer for the Northland News. Every year, the Kansas City chapter of the Public Relations Society of America holds a professional development meeting for near-region public relations students. This year, Park University's new public relations professor, Dr. Joy Piazza, and nine of Park public relations students were in attendance. The PRSSA summit took place at Boulevard Brewery and Conference Center. The speaker lineup included Alan Carr from the Kansas City Convention and Visitors Association, Ashley Hand from the Kansas City Area Development Council, and Rachel Hack from Google Fiverr. In sports, this week, past week, the women's volleyball team continued its latest winning streak with a 3-0 win against Missouri Baptist and Harris Stowe. Senior Lauren Purdy was named AMC Player of the Week with reaching a career total of 206 blocks. The team plays its final game at William Woods and will host the AMC quarterfinal on November 12th. Park's women's basketball opened up with a thriller last night. Park beat Avila with a 51-50 victory. Junior Chanel Mackey made the game-winning layup with 28 seconds left in the game. Men's basketball has a game on Saturday at 2 o'clock at the Brecken Sports Center. Before we close, most of you know next Monday is Veterans Day, and the Northland News would like to give a salute to all active duty members of the military as well as veterans. We took our cameras on campus and asked Park students to discuss why they're thankful to our veterans. Hi, I'm Bridget Varda, and I'm thankful for veterans because they have sacrificed their life for us. I'm um, Sean Dean. Uh, thankful for veterans in a lot of ways. Uh, my dad and my grandpa were both in the Navy, so I got a personal experience there. Hi, I'm Josh. I just want to say thanks to all the veterans for serving our country. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Ashley Harbin, and I just want to say thank you to all the veterans and all of our current military personnel. Um, without you, we wouldn't have this beautiful country. You, I mean, you make every day livable for us, so thank you. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Northland News. I'll see you next time.